all right my dear so in this video tutorial we are going to learn about volumetric strain as you know this is one of the important topic and probably uh, you have gone through questions and um, those has been asked in gate uh, yes so uh, definitely I will share with you that question which has been asked in gate uh, in 2007 you will definitely uh, have some concept on that so basically before going to share with you what is volumetric strain let me share with you what is a strain basically so if you will go through the simple definition of a strain then it's change in length change in length by original original length change in length denoted by delta l it's l suppose that it's in l so this is the simple definition of strain and uh, what is this change in length what is original length i hope you understand that's why you are here on this video to learn volumetric strain so i'm not going to going to have, tell you what is that this and what is that now probably you also know what are types of strain basically there are three types of strain one is lateral another one is longitudinal and the last one is lateral strain longitudinal strain last one is shear strain these are basic very uh, basic types of uh, strain but whenever it comes to volumetric strain it little bit difference there is little bit difference okay so why volumetric strain is known as volumetric strain that is also important all these strain are in one direction only maybe x maybe y maybe z all right but this one is happening in all direction suppose that we are having x y direction but i am taking here a 3d object okay so definitely it is y definitely it is x and definitely it is z if the shape of this object is happening three dimensionally then definitely we can find out volumetric stain of this object are you getting my point now what is basically volumetric stain we need to understand that is also important so volumetric stain is something which uh, you know changing in volume change in volume by original volume so we denote volumetric strain small e v change in volume delta v by original volume is known as volumetric strain are you getting my point probably you are getting so this is the volumetric strain but here what is it and what is this what is the change in volume and what is the volume that is also important all right now uh, you know if you'll go through the derivation of a this is the this one is basic but if we'll go through derivation of a then i must say e x plus e y plus e z this is the definition i mean strain in the x direction strain in the y direction strain in the z direction and adding all these strain becomes volumetric strain so if we'll add strain what is strain sigma x by e plus sigma y by e plus sigma z by e into 1 minus 2 nu after derivation we got this value i'm not going through the derivation what you should have to do because that will be quite lengthier you can read from anywhere from any book but i am sharing with, sharing with you the main concept of this volumetric strain after this what happen if okay we can write this equation like this sigma x sigma y sigma z by e 1 minus 2 nu okay now if all the stresses all stresses are same sigma x is equal to sigma y equal to sigma z is equal to sigma then what happen what we can write sigma plus sigma plus sigma by e 1 minus 2 mu that means 3 sigma by e 1 minus 2 nu so this is all about it and what we can do so what we got here 3 sigma by e 1 minus 2 nu 
okay so basically probably you have if you gone through some uh, some books or maybe some problem you have seen this but there is a case where sigma x is equal to sigma y is equal to sigma z all these stresses in all direction would be same in the case of hydrostatic loading hydrostatic loading remember that this is important probably i mean this is important i must say this is important probably you can get question in case of hydrostatic loading what will happen with to the volumetric strain probably you can get question in this topic so we should not forget okay now now this is the formula i mean this is it about uh, all volumetric strain and all that but if you are learning if you are preparing or if you wanted to get a previous year question which has been asked in gate then i must share with you that question well i haven't written that question but that question is right now in front of me so i can share with you i can read and you can listen to me carefully in this question what is state that there is a steel block of 200 by 100 by 50 mm okay this is steel block of this is subjected to hydrostatic pressure hydrostatic pressure p is equal to 15 mega pascal okay the young's modulus and poison ratio of the material are 200 giga pascal poison ratio i mean young's modulus e and poison ratio mu is equal to mu is equal to 0 0.3 the uh, the change in length and change in volume of block in millimeter cube millimeter cube so option a b c and d we have to go through all option 90 b is 85 c is 110 and d is 100 so this is the question we got and what we have to find out the change in volume of the block change in volume we have to find out what we have to find out from this question that is change in volume so how we can able to find out change in volume from the question that is also important right so we have the question and we have the formula uh, for finding out volumetric strain ev is equal to what ev is equal to we know that three sigma sorry uh, yeah three sigma one minus two mu three sigma one minus two nu by e okay so here what we got basically volume is volumetric strain is equal to also we know this change in volume by volume but what we have to find out basically in this question change in volume that is that is delta v i hope this uh, you have gone through i mean the question you understood right we have to find out delta v so that that means delta v volume into three sigma one minus two mu by e this is the formula for finding out this i mean just i have sent this v to that side by using cross multiplication concept now what is volume basically here 200 100 into 50 into 10 to the power minus 9 okay this because this is okay i am not using minus 9 because we have to find out this would be in mm but i had to change these two in mm mega pascal means automatically this is in mm okay now pressure is this that means we can use this as a stress so 3 into 15 1 minus 2 mu mu is 0.3 by e e 200 giga pascal means 10 to the power 9 that means we can do like this multiple 10 to the power 3 because here let me understand you giga means 10 to the power 9 so 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 6 we can write so 10 to the power 3 mega because 10 to the power 6 is equal to mega that's why i did it here now what we require my dear i think we need a calculator for calculation so what we got here 200 multiple 100 multiple 50 multiple 3 multiple 15 into 1 minus 0.6 right 2 and 0.3 is at 0.6 so how much we got here this much 200 into 10 to the power 3 90 so what we got value here 90 millimeter cube uh, if you have gone through the question then probably you got the answer which one is the right answer that is 90 
okay so i hope you understand what i wanted to make you understand in this volumetric strain and um, volumetric strain topic as well as few concept i have shared with you so uh, let me review the whole things what i have shared with you till now so in this topic most important formula is this one but this formula is only applicable when there is acting hydrostatic something hydrostatic pressure hydrostatic load that kind of thing if acting then we can use this equation otherwise we cannot use and one of the most most important tip let me share with you my dear if you are writing gate examination then definitely most of the time they are going to use this term to make it simple and also complicated because sometimes we we did mistake here we don't remember this one we just do what three sigma by e that is the mistake we should not forget this one and even sometimes we forget this one and sometimes even we forget the whole term we only know this change in volume by volume is known as volumetric strain but we just forgot this term this one is also useful so these three these three things you need to remember for the case of volumetric strain that's why you will not repeat any kind of mistake in the examination and uh, hopefully i have covered all things in volumetric strain till now so let me share with you the same uh, piece what i have shared with you so this is all about volumetric strain and what i have shared here this is all about a uh, single axis strain well so i hope you understand all things here what you got and uh, hope you enjoy the tutorial thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye